Political turmoil in Romania looks set to continue after the country's prime minister resigned in defeat following Sunday's general election. His centre-right liberal grouping came second in the parliamentary ballot, but it's unlikely the victorious left-wing Social Democrats can form a ruling coalition. Our correspondent Mary Janion spoke to the country's three biggest parties as the race to form the next government begins. The coronavirus pandemic and the economic crisis left a bitter taste for Romanian voters and kept them away from the polls at Sunday's general election. The low turnout only favoured the Social Democrats in part, as they did not manage to win more than 50% of the votes by themselves. In the absence of suitable partners, the left-wing party will most probably head to the opposition seats. The prime vice president of the party, Sorin Grindanu, told Euronews that they will not make an alliance with AUR, a new euro skeptic nationalist party that won 9% of the votes and surprisingly made it into parliament. They seem to have a political stance that does not fit with European values. It does not match the idea of Romania being an EU and NATO member state. It does not respect the essential pillars of our development. So I can give you a firm answer, no. The Liberals, in turn, have started negotiations with the Renew affiliate in Romania, USR Plus Alliance, and the Hungarian minority party, UDMR. We expect that Romania will be governed for the next four years by a pro-European cabinet, with clear priorities in modernizing and developing the country, defending the rule of law and European values, as well as attracting European funding. There's 80 billion euros at our disposal. The outcome of the vote clearly shows that USR Plus has received a mandate from its electors to build a reforming majority. If we take a look at the results and the parties that won seats in the parliament, it is very clear that there can be no majority without USR Plus. Analysts say the outcome of the election was predictable and the only worry seems to be the newborn radical party that enters parliament, our. There's a clear gap at a social level as well as a political level between pro and anti-Europeans. Our is the first European party that declares itself as such, a Corona skeptic party that massively promoted conspiracies and had a very interesting network strategy. In the coming days, the president will hold talks with all the major parties that won seats in the Romanian parliament so that he will decide who is the person he will appoint as prime minister. Romania will have a new cabinet by the end of the year.